Hey Cruise Club, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today I thought I would do like a art supply haul slash coloring supplies. So if you guys didn't know, I have an art Instagram. I think it's called Crazy Coolpool 75 Crazy Art, I believe is what the name is, where I post my pictures I finish and I just kind of tell you what I used on the pictures. And um, I love to color, so I thought today's video would be me showing you what I use for my coloring. Um, things and I'm not trying to make any shape or form all these coloring utensils that I'm going to show you in this video are all cheap and all affordable so let's... first thing I am going to show you is all my um like coloring books that I use um so most of my coloring books are from Hobby Lobby one of them is from Hobby Lobby one's from the grocery store and then the other one's from Target and the Dollar Tree so let me show you so basically, the first one I'm going to show you is this, this Dollar Tree one. This one I haven't actually used in a while. I just found it when I was cleaning my house. But this is just what it looks like. It just has like random, like it's a flower. This one looks from the color. So like this is when I started coloring, I believe. And then we have this like flower flower coloring book by Colorfly. Um, this one is just really cool. Um, it's a cool coloring book. The next one I have is this. The Art Edge by Crayola. This one's really cool. I'll show you the. I'll show you everything I like. Kind of colored with these word books. And the next one is this last one I got recently for my um, like my aunt. This one is from Good Good More Good Vibes book coloring book. So this is from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm just gonna quickly show you another like not really coloring book but coloring pages I did do. I wrote my reach guys. So I'm not gonna show you every single one of them, but I just thought I would show you kind of what I did. So basically, I took because I didn't have um, color books at the time that I wanted, I just printed off stuff off Amazon or off Google Images. So these are just all those. I'm not really gonna show you those. So then I'm gonna show you all like pictures I've been coloring. So each of these are from both both of the coloring books that I have. So this one is from the Crayola one. This one just says independent is happiness. And then this one is, it's okay to be weird. I'm gonna tell this actually I'm done through messenger today after work because I forgot to tell story. I think it's kind, of, it's kind of me and her. We both we both are kind of different people. Um, hey, and this one I just finished last night. This one says, um, collect the moments, not the things. And then some of these I didn't finish totally. This is never give up um, for that is just the place and the time that the tide will tur turn. Um, I didn't finish this one. This one is one I actually started but not finished. I'll have to finish this one. This one, um, if it turns around, it says the human race has one really effective weapon that is laughter, which is cool. cool. This one I started and then this one I never finished. So those are all my coloring like books that I use um, for my um, for that, um, now everything I get are from um, places, you can get coloring books anywhere, probably go to Amazon, which I think you can buy a bunch of those from Amazon. <laughs> All right, and then the next thing we're gonna go through is on my coloring supplies. So basically, in this pouch here, I have like my Crayola markers, um, which if you guys want to see, these are so super fine tipped if it focuses. Um, I have like 120 markers in here because my um, aunt gave me 20, a 20 pack of markers. Well, my, this pouch is from Target and so are the markers so you guys can follow there, find them there. And then the next t t t t container are my colored pencils. I might have a couple markers in here because I was cleaning my mess up. But these are just like uh, colored pencils. You can kind of see which ones are like doer because it's doer. But the door ones do have like numbers on, on them, so I might actually organize it a little bit because I don't know what so I don't know if you can focus, but the newer ones that I have here um have numbers. The older ones that I have, some of them in here do not have the number. Oh yeah, they do. But I didn't notice that some of like Crayola have numbers on them, so I think I might organize this. Um and yeah, so then um this is just another color pencil container. Um, which is just this um, thing with a lot of color puzzles. Oh, yeah. Uh, this 
And the next couple things I have here are some watercolor mark um, color pencils, which I have not actually figured out how to. I haven't figured out these watercolor pencils. I'll be doing my next like probably picture with them. I have to figure out how they work. The next thing is I have some more um, thin marker tips, thin markers, which I showed you from the package. I'm just not thinking pack will fit them, so just put them in the Ziploc bag to kind of keep them separated. And then um, here I just have a bunch of like random pens, pencils, um, and all these. These are really not for coloring, but I thought I'd throw them in there so that I can erase if I need to, if I need to take a pencil and write something. I just keep them in here. And the next thing I have are just these um, thin um, tipped markers, fine tip markers. These are, you can buy them off of Amazon. Um, they are called the fine liner color, color pens, which I think are great, but you guys need to make sure you um, do not use them too hard. I've kind of run some of these because I've colored too hard, but these are what I used to use for coloring. I don't exactly recommend these for coloring because they're kind of hard to use and some of mine are actually dried out. And then the last couple of things I used, for color, used to use for coloring, but I don't know on my markers yet, but these are just some of my markers that I have here. Um, this is just like some markers I have. I don't, I had more of the markers than this, but I don't know where they all went, so. And then I'm gonna show you like some, I have some like few, few paintbrushes that my, um, my aunt gave me, um, for, I think what she's, I think she was trying to use them for the colored pencils that I, um, my watercolor pencils. The last thing I have, two colored pencils that I use. And just me two pet color pencil sharpeners I use. This one is the Up brand. And then this one is the, I don't want to try to say this one, but this is the, see, this is the brand of this one. And it has, it's two, you can use um, color crayons and like pencils. So there we go guys, that's all what I use for coloring. Everything probably like the color, the color pencils, the markers you can all find at walmart or target i i recommend going to target walmart because they might be cheaper thanks for watching please like this video comment down below if you want to see next the question today is what kind of coloring utensils do you use do you use the expensive brand or do you use the before i go guys i'm going to show you like my um the pulses is the brand of the color pencils um, or the markers that I, or the fine touch um, paintbrushes. And then this is the brand of the other ones. So I'll see you guys in